Hi, this is James at WP Central, and we're just going to take a very quick look at G Maps Pro for our Windows Phone, which has been updated recently. It's got some fantastic features, and uh, it's a, all in all, it's a great little application. So, obviously, once we launch it, as you can see, um, you get a map. Uh, down on the bottom left hand side of the screen, there is a track me button that will actually show you your GPS position. Uh, there's a plus and minus sign for toggling in and out. Obviously, pinch to zoom will also work, and uh, you can use your finger to uh, just move around the move around the map if you uh, so desire. Uh, a few other features up here on the top right hand side, we have this bar. Um, the traffic light symbol enables traffic, which if we zoom out a second and give that a moment to refresh, I'll show you exactly what that means. If there's any traffic jams there, that is. Okay, so the green roads are running clear, so we can see there that the M25 is absolutely fine. Um, if we get any red symbols like we have there, uh, that means there is a problem, so uh, there is a traffic jam there uh, on the A10 junction with the M25. We can turn that off. There is also a, uh, a transport layer and a cycling layer, but to be totally honest with you, I don't quite understand them. <laughs> and there's also a, a weather one, which is uh, pretty nifty, as it will show you the, uh, uh, the temperature in various places around the map, like so. And then down at the bottom, we've got some uh, we've got some search options. So if we press the uh, the actual search key, if it decides to work, let's turn the weather off. Bear with me a second. Just, I'm just jumping in the settings quickly because I've got driver mode enabled and. Uh, while that is enabled, there's certain features that won't work because they don't want you using the phone while you're driving. So now we can do a search and uh, let's do a search for pizza, for example. And as you would expect, it will then show you all the local uh, pizza places uh, nearby. If we zoom into one of those. And then we click it, you get a some more details so we can actually get directions to actually drive to it um, you can see the, the the actual address or you can actually uh, make a phone call straight from uh, from, from, from tapping there which is uh, a nice little feature next up we have um, the discover local places and uh, as you would expect this uh, just pr provides lists of uh, uh, various amenities around your location there is a, a an option to add your own one. So let's uh, do that one. We'll search for uh, cafes and we'll add a category. And then obviously we just press that and that will show us all the local cafes that are nearby to my location. Like so. And we can again click on whichever one it, you want, you want it, and it uh, zooms in on the map and uh, gives you a bit more a bit more detail which is pretty nice. And once again we can uh, we can we can navigate there if we want to. Um, it's not voice guided navigation, but it will show you a map of the route. The next option we have is uh, is take, obviously taken from Google Street View, and uh, depending on uh, this, will actually be it will show you your, your your current GPS location, so you can uh, you can you can have a look around if you really want to. It's not quite as smooth as using uh, Google Street View on the on the internet, but uh, it's better than nothing. And then the final tab is the latitude one, which uh, ideally you, re you really want to have uh, switched on. Uh, final thing I wanted to mention, back into the settings, um, we've got a clear map option there. Um, if we have selected uh, a particular uh, location or route, we've got the option to, to, to actually share that via uh, uh, email, etc. Um, the picture will be saved and you can then send it like so. And then back into the settings, which we did show you very briefly. Um, we've got some options to, uh, uh, with the actual type of map, we've got hybrid, physical, satellite, or the water overlay. Uh, I kind of like the uh, uh, the street view, but let's have a look at the satellite and just uh, show you uh, what that's like.
and much the same as on any other platforms you can uh, obviously zoom in and uh, in and out and uh, all that jazz so uh, it's pretty cool and as you can see there there's uh, you can enable the live tile so overall that's just a, a, a quick oversight of the application uh, as you can see it's pretty good if I were you I'd go and check it out in the Windows Marketplace. Thanks for watching.